regarding the CSF mal markers in uh, in Parkinson disease, there is a huge discussion, but it's still questioned the value of alpha synuclein in CSF, but also in plasma. Uh, so the total alpha synuclein. Uh, conversely, there is a huge uh, interest in the in the research community for uh, seed amplification assays, the the so, the so called RT quick. Uh, for alpha synuclein, uh, which has been demonstrated to be very sensitive and very, uh, very, so very solid for the diagnosis of either Parkinson or Levy. Uh, what is of high interest is probably that uh, these uh, assay are highly sensitive even in other conditions. So we are, for example, demonstrating that even in Alzheimer's disease. There are a lot of patients uh, who resulted positive to alpha synuclein uh, uh, with a seed amplification assay. So then it's not easy to use this in differential diagnosis. Okay, of course, uh, it's of interest to evaluate uh, at single patient uh, level the amount of alpha synuclein uh, at different phases of the disease, but uh, we still need probably uh, a very good markers for distinguish Parkinson's disease from uh, other other conditions. And regarding prognostic uh, and differential diagnosis, probably NFL is still so is quite old marker uh, now because there are a lot of uh, different uh, studies uh, showing that um, an increase in NFL is. Uh, is not related uh, with uh, uh, typical Parkinson's disease, but uh, this can really help in the early diagnostic phases because uh, if I have a patient with a mild or even moderate Parkinsonism with normal NFL, then I I, I know that it's uh, probably really an idiopathic Parkinson's disease. And uh, with the same patient with a very increased level of NFL, then uh, the, the majority of patients are probably in an early phase of a typical Parkinsonism, such as DLB or uh, corticobasal syndrome, MSA or PSP. And um, if we consider then the prognostic value of different markers, and uh, we are presenting also an abstract, uh, Dr. Lupini is presenting an abstract in, in Gothenburg uh, looking at this. So we, if we evaluate the different markers of progression in Parkinson's disease, again, NFL is uh, far the best uh, marker with a little contribution of PTAU and a little contribution of uh, GFIP, probably. So they might add a little bit of understanding uh, of probably a subset of patients with an increased uh, uh, astrocytic uh, or inflammatory uh, reaction or co-pathology of Alzheimer's disease, probably. Okay, but again, if we... Um, so the robustness of NFL in predicting the progression, the motor, but also cognitive progression in Parkinson is... Uh, is for, at the moment, NFL is the best marker ever for predicting this. And we are still looking for new markers in plasma, which are able to uh, to track also the neurodegenerative process, because we know that the NFL uh, is not changing a lot over time in Parkinson's disease. We are also... Per mm, so a very interesting question is uh, the... Um, how can we track the progression of Parkinson in prodromal phases? So we know that the, the idiopathic Ramsley behavioral disorders are a perfect model of prodromal Parkinson's disease, but also prodromal Levy, so prodromal alpha synuclinopathies. Uh, but uh, in this phase, it's very difficult to track the progression because there are not really very clear symptoms and probably they are just very subtle motor symptoms we cannot track in an easy way and we are presenting in the Gothenburg um, one important study evaluating the subtle motor symptoms using mobile health technology so digital digital markers of um, mobility alteration in this phase 
And we found indeed that the clinician was not able to see any difference in a subject with the idiopathic REM sleep behavior disorder. But when we looked at uh, the digital markers, then it appeared very clear that uh, they indeed have a, a slowness of some movements, particularly on turning and, and gait. And uh, probably we can track over time uh, the um, conversion uh, to Parkinson's disease, but also potentially the response to treatment or non-pharmacological approaches using this uh, mobile health technology. We, I think uh, we we now have uh, the potential to apply digital technology in larger samples because the cost, but also the accuracy is is better. And so we should think about uh, the inclusion of digital markers also in prospective courts.